Hey there everybody, this is Laura from Cheerbo Supply and today I'm going to show you how you can use our rhinestone download files with Cricut Design Space. If you've ever tried to use Cricut Design Space for rhinestone files before, you know they can be particularly problematic. Each little rhinestone, which there can be hundreds or thousands of rhinestones in each design, gets read by Design Space as an individual little shape to cut out. And this just overloads the software and causes a lot of problems. It just freezes everything up and it just does not work seamlessly. Fortunately, the cutter is perfectly capable of cutting rhinestone files. And I'm going to show you how to use our files with the software so that you get a perfect template cutout. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up your Cricut Design Space and we are going to click on a new project and we are going to upload a file. When you are at the upload screen you're going to click on upload image and then browse and this is where you have to remember where you saved your rhinestone files that you downloaded from us. You're going to receive a zip file that you're going to unzip and I recommend that you save those files to your desktop so that you can easily find them when you need them. So I'm going to open up this rhinestone design here which is number three, let me do this one, 325 scatter. This is a good one. So I double click that which opens up the folder and inside the folder there are three folders. This one is design space files, this one is scan and cut for the brother cutter and these are your standard files. Now this is important with which file you select. Inside standard files you can see you have a number of different files with all different extensions. There is an SVG file in the standard files folder, but this is not the SVG file that you want to use with Design Space. So what you're going to do is you're going to work solely in this Design Space files folder. You're going to open it up and inside this folder there should just be one SVG file and it is different than the one that's in the standard files. So you're going to highlight it and you're going to click open and here you can add different names or tags if you want and click save and now here is your uploaded file so you're going to highlight it and then click on the bottom right corner for insert images Okay, now here is the design down here. I'm just going to move it up where it's in a better space for cutting. And if you look over here on the side, you can see that there are only two shapes to cut out. It is the, the file has been formatted. First of all, the size ratio is correct, so you, you don't get this big, giant, unproportionally sized file. This is correct because as you know for rhinestones the size of these circles is very important. So this will be the correct size and over here if you look at the cutting files, um, the cutting portion of the scatter file, there's only two shapes that the design space software has to process. One is this yellow box and then one is the actual circles. So that makes it a lot easier. Now if you want this all to cut on one piece, which of course you do, all you have to do is click on the title, 325 Scatter or whatever one you're working with, and then click Ungroup. Now you're going to click on the first cut and then the second cut. If you have more, if there's more sizes of rhinestones, they're each going to be grouped differently, so just grab all of them and then down here at the bottom click attach. 
and that's going to cut it all in one piece. Otherwise, when you go to send it to your cutter, it's going to want you to cut out this yellow box on one mat and then the rhinestones on another mat. And this just makes it so it'll cut it all out on one piece. So after you do that, you're going to click in the upper right corner, click on Make It. And here it's going to tell you that your design is taller than the typical, you know, 12 inch cutting mat. Um, so make sure you have the correct cutting mat that you want. And then you can click OK. And it all looks good. Everything, there's enough space for it. Click Continue. And mine is the, you're going to select here whichever you, whichever Cricut cutter you have. Mine is the maker with the Bluetooth. Okay, now that it's connected with my cutter, it's going to load the materials. And here I've saved some favorites. You can click Browse All Materials um, and select whatever material you're cutting your design out of. Our rhinestone files, you can cut them out of glitter vinyl, you can cut them out of holographic vinyl. That will give you a one-time use transfer and instead of actually being rhinestones, it'll be circles cut out of the whatever vinyl you use. Um, or you can cut it out of a rhinestone template material such as sticky flock. So I'm going to cut mine out of sticky flock. And now you if you're familiar with your cutter, it's the same process from here. Now that you've sent your design to your machine, you can let your machine do all the work. It may take a while, depending on how large the design is. Each rhinestone shape should be double cut. Once it's finished, you can pull the excess sticky flock or vinyl depending on what material you've used from the corner and hopefully to get a perfect weed you will pull it from the bottom corner and pull it low and slow close down and you can see all the little holes that are left behind and you have a perfect template ready to make your rhinestone transfer. We have many more Cricut friendly rhinestone downloads available at cheerbosupply.com. We also offer many supplies including rhinestone transfers, spangles, sublimation, vinyl, and we do custom design. Be sure to like our video and subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.